name is Amber and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to talk about all the books I checked out from the library. I'm checking library books out in bulk these days but let's just jump right into all the books I checked out from the library. First thing I checked out from the library is the first volume of the Infernal Devices comic manga series. I am really interested in checking this out in a different format especially since I loved this series in the original format so I was really missing it so I figured I'd check this out. I checked out Orbiting Jupiter by Gary D. Schmidt. This has been on my TBR for so long that I've actually kind of forgotten what it was about so when I saw it at the library I was like I remember that's on my TBR let me check it out. I checked out The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sagar. I did not like his original book The Final Girl but there was something in the writing that made it really impulsive readable and so I'm curious about this his second book especially since I liked the premise of the second one a little bit more than the premise of the first one. I also checked out Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. I, this one has some You Got Mail vibes so I figured I'd check that out. Always Never Yours based purely on the cover if we're being honest because look how beautiful this is and I'm super interested in this one. I checked out Psalm for Lost Girls by Katie Barrow. This one I checked out because my best friend Maggie was raving about it a while back and told me that they thought I would like it so here I am. Hopefully you'll like it, Maggie. No excuses. I've given a, every April Henry book I've read two stars, but yet I keep trying to find what I like. One specifically is called Blood Will Tell. I know I fly through these. Who knows if I'll actually give this higher than a two star. We'll see. Picked out Dry by Neil and Jared Schusterman. This one I know is about California and a drought that's dystopian me. I really am terrible at what books are about, apparently. Checked out Wicked in the Wallflower by Sarah McLean. It's a historical fiction that involves romance, and I wanted to try a historical romance. I haven't really read one in a while, so I figured I'd pick this up. Picked out Duke by Default by Alyssa Coles. This is the sequel. This is the second book in the Reluctant Royal series, and I figured I'd check out the second book since I enjoyed the first one so much. Another cover in Pulse Checkout, Love and Other Carbonivorous Plans. Picked out Rosemary and Crime by Gail Oust. A sequel to this book at, on one of the displays while I was there and I wanted to try the first one and why am I not surprised I checked out a cozy mystery about food honestly but I'm excited to check this one out. I out Dating You Hating You by Christina Lauren. I've heard that this is has similar vibes to The Hating Game but The Hating Game does it better but I've been really enjoying Christina Lauren's works lately so I figured I'd check out this book. Shallow Graves by Callie Wallace. I'm pretty sure this involves a ghost. I read another book with this exact same title and I was thinking it was this so I'm thinking this is the one with the ghost unless I checked out a book that I've already read. That has also happened before, but I'm excited. I out Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios. I know this involves an abusive relationship, so this one might be one I check out and return without having read, but I'm excited to try to get to it this time. Um, I just know that the content is something that I don't always feel that I'm up for. I out Grim Lovelies by Megan Shepard because I feel like everyone and their brother was talking about this one a while back. All I really remember about it is that it involves magic and I'm kind of here for that. The last book I checked out was Mary's Monsters which is about Mary Shelley and how she created Frankenstein. The name of this book while I was walking through the nonfiction section I was like that sounds super up my alley so I checked this one out. That is everything I checked out in the library. Like I said I have a library borrowing problem. It's a thing. Hopefully the next time I check out stuff from the library I won't do it in bulk. I'll actually be able to tell you more about everything I checked out. But what's the fun in not knowing ahead of time? Go to the library. Do you check out as many books as I do? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like what you saw here today be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and have a nice day.